Hello everybody. In this video, what we're going to do is work on a very simple timer. So let's go ahead and uh, get in here and I'm gonna create a brand new project and I'm just gonna call it timer and click create. And so what we're gonna do is just make this timer where it just counts down. And the important thing about this is I learned two, uh, two features, well, just one main one, which is setting up the global variable for us to count down from. So let's go ahead and just double click in the middle here and we're gonna grab text. And I'm gonna call this timer text, timer text and insert, put it here. And I'm gonna make it fairly large for us to view. Uh, and based on what you would like to do, you can kind of play around with this as well. And so, and go ahead and do this and then uh, let's change this text to I'm just gonna do this so it gives me a good idea of what the size looks like all right so there we go something like this perfect and and the thing is if you guys had it like this large or anything like that uh, you can go in here and change the alignment right now it's to the left you could center it and there you go they're all set so now that we have this set up what we got to do is jump into the event sheet side and we're going to do two things one is we're going to right click in this area and add a global variable think of variables as a way of storing information into the name of whatever it's called so think of like one bin what, what are you putting in it in this case we are putting a numbered value in here. So I'm gonna start with 60 seconds. So once you do that, it's gonna show up at the top, global number timer equals 60. So now that you have that, what we do is go ahead and get it to count down. So in order for it to do that, we gotta click on an event. Inside the event, we're gonna click into system and then scroll to the bottom. You're gonna see something called every X seconds. It's what it's going to do is every so many seconds as the game is playing, it's going to run some uh, whatever you want it to run. So we're going to hit next. We're going to leave it at one second. And now in here, we get to set it up where we do our calculations and so forth. So I'm going to click back on the layout. This is say, OK, right now this is set to zero. That's not ideal. We want it to start with 60. So back in our event sheet, Let's go ahead and add our first action, which is to set the text to the variable. So if we scroll down to see set text, you hit next. Normally you'll just see these quotes. What we want to do is actually use the variable. So go ahead and if you start timing, typing in timer, you're going to run into this with the little globe. That means that's a global variable you can use. So you double click that and hit done. So now it's gonna set it to 60. So I'm gonna hit play real quick for you to see. Okay, took a second and then it changed to 60. So, all right, and that's good that it worked the way we intended it to work. So um, we have that going for us. Now, eventually what you wanna do is make sure there's no gap in time for it to change. It, it wants to change automatically and we'll fix that in a second. So now that we have our text changed, what we want to do is our math. So every time a second goes by, we want to subtract one from our timer. So we're going to click here. We can go into system because very global variables section is in the system section of construct. And you're going to get add to set Boolean, subtract from set value, toggle Boolean and reset global variables. In this case, we are going to do subtract from. It's going to pick timer and then one and you hit done. And now if we hit play, let's take a look. All right. And now it's going down very smoothly every second. So this is great for things that like if you're doing like you have a certain amount of time on a level, a trivia game, all sorts of fun things like that. However, I would recommend doing one more thing before you consider this kind of complete. I'm going to create an event and go to system and we're going to just do some prep work. So there's something called on start of layout. Think of this as the initialization of whatever 
you need to get set up or anything like that before the game begins. So in this case, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click on timer and I'm gonna set the text to timer. So this will run one time at the beginning and just for order's sake, we could drag it to the top. All right, so now when I hit play, it should start with 60. You don't see it go to zero and then it took a second, but then it started, right? Now you get to kind of play around with, okay, when you enter a game or a level, do you want it to turn on immediately or do you want it to run uh, one second every time? There's a lot of things that you can do. So you can kind of dictate and com combine both of these if you wanted to set that up, okay? So there's a lot of ways that we can play around with how the timer actually counts down, all right? So just recap of what we did. We added a text item here, and then we did a global variable, set it to the timer, and then subtracted one from it. Now, in order for you to take advantage of this piece, if you change the order, subtract and then show the timer, that would probably fix your problem where it's like, cool, now it's going because the game started, it set it to 60, it waited a second, it subtract the number first, and then it went to the next number. So order of operations, very important when you're playing around with this stuff, but this is how you get a simple timer going in your game.